Item 71% to the level. Still bonus experience going on. And we went from 71 to 74. So I intentionally stayed quiet during that fight. I saw a video recently uploaded. And it was EverQuest sounds to fall asleep to. And I thought, man, that's a great idea. You listen to all the spell effects. And for a lot of people, that's like a real calming sound. For me, for a good while, I was listening to train sounds. It was called tri Distant Train Horns. And that was helping me go to sleep. So you might notice my voice has changed a little bit. I'm sick. But having the feverish chills, I have congestion, so I'm a mouth breather at the moment. You can hear my nasal passages very stuffed up. I took a cetirazine. But uh, I've been getting fevers and chills. A subjective fever. My forehead feels a little warm. I feel better now than yesterday. Now I'm coughing and I got that productive, nasty colored phlegm. But um, I was gonna make my way over to Kunark and fight the forest giants. But it's a long ways to get there. So unless I can get a port, I'm just gonna finish the level here, fighting scythe beetles. And by the way, I'm on my level 25 shaman. Oh gosh. This is not doing good for my nerves. You might notice I'm a little jumpy. Alright. Been using cannibalize more often now. Doesn't help when it fizzles twice. Come on. So these are really good for experience. You get a good feel for when Venom Breath is going to run out. Oh, just a pincer. It looked like the root broke for a second, didn't it? All right, that gave us 2%. I'm not getting a lot of money off of these. And I definitely need to start getting money. That's a problem with fighting these out here. It's good experience, but it's 
poor for money. So let me start working my way over to the Druid Rings. I love a port to the Emerald Jungle. We could always fight some of these Wisp. Just throw up an Venom Breath on it. worth some money there and I have to recast regeneration let's go and cast it now can't apply some more Cannibalize becomes more efficient. We're in business. This is a green one. So I made a purchase recently. I'm not gonna say it was worth it. Impulse buy. But I bought a neck fan. And this neck fan has two cooling plates. And the cooling plates are positioned on each side of your neck. So right over your, say, arteries. And the coldness from the plates, oops, what happened? It kind of feels like, say you dipped a rag in ice water. Of course the water gives you a cooling effect, but it's that kind of coldness to it. It develops on the cooling plates, and then it's got a fan component as well. It cost about $200. I took it out walking the other night. I don't like to sweat or get hot. It did help. And it was like 85 degrees at night and very humid. So, of course, it works best in conditions where it's not too cold. So, if it's 85 degrees and humid outside, it's kind of pushing the, the limits of what you can expect. And it doesn't work miracles. But it's, it's a fun little item. Okay, we're at 80%. I saw a... Will-O-Wisp earlier. I'm sure I lost track of it and now I can't find it. Oh well. I should have fought the Will-O-Wisp because they're giving good experience, or, or good money. Rare light stones. Oh, we can fight this thing. Let's make sure nothing's coming up behind me. Just wait for it to get close. Let's go get him. If 
<laughs> That's a guy named Timeshares. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, protection of the glades. Let's see if we can kill these. Well, let's, let's use the thorns now. Let's run around and get all of them. He stunned me. Here's another one. So he offered to let us join a guild called Lineage. Have you guys heard of Lineage? I don't think I have. But I so appreciate these buffs. So while I have these chasing me, I'm going to look for some more scythe beetles. Uh, we might head over by the camp. I never join a clan on any of my alts because I don't dedicate enough time to one single alt to become an active member, if that makes sense to anybody. All right, 82%. Here's the green one. Just doing Venom Breath on it. Well, we don't need to. I would expect him to run away. There we go. Can we loot? Can we loot? Ah. Yeah, let's loot. Now let's find another one fast. Or a griffin. That'll work. This is a problem. Well, I can get this thing, the will o -Wisp, since I'm here. Oh, there's some beetles. Come on, quickly. Let the, let the dot finish them. Okay. Oh, it's just a burnout one. We have to hurry up and get those beetles. And we can nearly level. And then I can head over to Kunark. Fight the Force Giants. Junk loot. Where is it? Well, it's just a regular light stone. Darn, it's just a boar. Uh, that one looks small in the distance. Oh, that's a scythe beetle. He looks small. We're going to get around level... We're going to get about 90% to this level by the time our thorns runs out. My prediction. Oh. Hurry. Let's take a look around for more. Is that? What is it? It's a Griffon. He's a dark green though. He'll give me experience. Oh, what are these? Oh, that's the board and the pincer. Oh, there's another scythe. What is that one? Ooh, but they're green scythes, so they're only going to give me about 1%. So all we got to do is do one damage to it. There we go. And then we'll run over to this one. 
Oh, what is this one? Ha, a blue one. All right, hurry up. What about this one? That's another blue side beetle. I better be careful. Having three of them hit me at once. I have four of them hit me. Oh, this is risky. I'm trying to maximize my buffs. Stating the obvious. Oh, the thorns is running out. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't run out yet. Oh, no. Give me, give me 10 more seconds. Come on, a few more seconds. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I got that one off. Did one, one just died. Okay, this one's almost dead too. Oh, I shouldn't have done a bit of breath on this one. Cool, we're at 89, 88%. It's not very easy without the thorns. Come on, one hit. Come on, one hit. All right, now what's the life on this one? Oh, he's up to 39%, that's not good. I don't have any of my melee buffs up. Take a look around here. Oh, I wasn't trying to loot. Well, this one's nearly dead. One hit. So we're so close now. Here's a blue one. So we need to do it in Venom Breath on this. Perfect. And I'm so out of mana. It takes a lot of work to level up the shaman. Lots of downtime. I don't want to loot this or that or that. Give me some loot I want. So what I'll do. Sorry for my stuffy nose. So what I usually give people who have congestion, a cough, and say they have fevers, and it's only been a day or two, you treat it as a viral infection. So you treat the symptoms. If they're running fevers, they can take Tylenol. If they need to, if they have cough, there's two different things you can do. So a lot of, a lot of times you can do Tessalon pearls, and then that's a cough suppressant. Some people don't think they work. Some people do. And then, if they've got congestion, you could also give uh, guaifenesin, which is also like Mucinex. So you give Tessalon Pearls and Mucinex and Tylenol as needed. Um, another thing you can do is they can just get something over the counter called Robitussin DN. It's got Dextromethorphan and Guacinophen mixed in with it. So it's got Mucinex, it's a combo Mucinex and anti so that suppresses cough. 
I get these kind of patients come in all the time. So we're going to do the light stone first. Let's see how many we have. Three of them, okay. So I'm at 94%. It took me to 96. Isn't that so good? Those are just the regular light stones. And the greater light stone, let's see, 96. It gave me a whole percent. So this one, for some reason, can only go in your main bag. So, and then we can sell. We'll just sell it right back to them. There's something sneaking up behind me. Ooh, those aviac feathers sell for a lot of money. I don't know what I just sold. All right, we're so close to leveling now. Um, ooh, possibly we can level off of this one. So what we'll do is so cannibalize up. Times three. It's starting to get dark in the game now. I hate when it gets dark. Man, I didn't think I was going to make this much progress in this video. But to think I'm going to level. Okay, so I'm going to be able to handle things much easier now I have regrowth of the grove on. So I can stand in melee. But I'm still going to just affliction on him. Buy me some distance. And then breath. Don't fizzle. Get some more distance. Don't root. Oh. Sometimes you just don't make a complete stop. Oops. We hit him. So he's rooted now. And don't cannibalize again. And I have to throw Spirit of Wolf on. That ran out. And when he gets released from the root, we'll just melee. He's already down to 40%. That's so easy. He's a blue one. Ooh. Here he comes. We did it. Isabellius on a scythe beetle? Alright, so we don't need to stay here any longer. Can I find a port? Would it be nice to have that little bear pet? Little pet bear. That's a cartoon I never liked growing up. It seemed old when I was a kid. It was like an old cartoon from a from a previous generation. So the cartoons that I considered old when I was a kid that were still on TV were the Rocky and Bullwinkle show, Scooby Doo, um, the Hanna Barbera stuff, like the races, Yogi Bear. I, I consider them all like really old cartoons like for I wouldn't say adults but it's like the adults in the house watched them when they were young so they weren't my favorite cartoons I was biased even Tom and Jerry was like old the only old ones that I still enjoyed was Tom and Jerry and some of the Bugs Bunny ones but as a kid, like some of the cartoons were getting big was uh, Barney was getting big. And then Teletubbies after that one. Blues Clues. Nickelodeon cartoons were pretty big too, but they had shows. So Nickelodeon didn't really do a lot of animated ones. The big one when I was really young was uh, Doug. 
with patty mayonnaise and Doug. I wasn't a huge fan, but it was it was okay. Rugrats wasn't one of my favorites. And then the ones that I thought were kind of gross were the Ren Stimpy one and the Mighty Mouse. I'm like, it's kind of perverted. <laughs> it was kind of perverted to me. You know, as a kid, and they always show like butt cheeks and stuff. I'm like, why do they always do that? That was the Mighty Mouse cartoon. So silly me, I was running over to West Commons when I have myself bound there. So let's just gate. Well, we went the long way. Here we are. Check it out. And of course, they're going to attack me. So let's just swim. We're going to swim around the wall. Well, I made it here, and it's going to be very dangerous because I am going to leave myself bound in West Commons. If I die, <laughs> I have to make a long corpse run. So let's try not to die. I'd rather leave myself bound so I can gate back when it's time to sell. So we're going to go over to um, the Giant Fort. And I'm going to end this episode at the Giant Fort. But first, we're going to consider everything there. We could stay and fight in this area. I saw things that were green. And there's a rhino that's white. But uh, I, I find too many things in here that run quickly. The rhinos have spiritable speed. And uh, the loot's not... <clears throat> Excuse me. I was hoping to get some items. Possibly a force loop earring. Hopefully I dodge those two. Let's see what earrings I have now. Because I wouldn't mind getting a force loop. So we have these alligator tooth earrings. They give me plus five hit points. I can maybe get a force loop. Who knows? There's a conscript. I'm always looking out for one with a sword because there's a Sarnak Liberator sword that can spawn on one of these guys, and it's a decent weapon. And I believe you can use it as a shaman. I'm not 100% sure, but I've gotten one in my time here and over there. Would like to get a second one. Let's take a look over here and see if any of these guys... These are the static ones, I think. And they wouldn't have one. Um... But always take a look on the Sarnax for a Sarnax Liberator. It's like a curved scimitar. It's very curved, actually. And there's a clock vendor over here. I've heard that he's like a greedy vendor, though. Oh, God, there's that rhino always hanging out by the vendor. So how can I vendor when the rhino won't leave? Oh, there's a tigress. That's green. But those, those tigers can travel quickly. So I'm swimming around it. All that swimming and my skill only increased by one. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm running to the fort. I'll see you guys at the fort. Okay, well, I made it to the fort. We follow this stream and it takes us right there. Okay, let's take a look around. That's the spot. And they're blue. I like that. So this is the spot that I usually hunt at, right from this area. I sit right here. Let's take a look. Someone's inside. So one is white and one's blue. Ooh, it might be too tough for me, but you can pull singles. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do is do affliction. Oh, he resisted it. Dang it. This is not good. He resisted twice in a row. Resisted three times in a row. Resisted four. Come on, man. He resisted five of them. Let's just root him. We got him rooted. He resisted five in a row. Why? All right, that worked and it broke the root. We're in trouble. We're gonna keep him rooted. 
Let's do cannibalize a few times. Alright, let's try affliction. Please land. Alright, it landed. So let's sit. We got him down to 57%. And by the way, this is an even con. Oh, God. I might have cast it too soon. Oh. Let's recast and Venom Breath. We're running out of mana fast. Okay, that held. Cannibalize. We are out of mana. Sit. We're in trouble. Man, the roots won't last, and I had five resists. I'm gonna have to kite him around a little bit and see. Root wore off. Let's go ahead and do another cannibalize. All right, target him again. Got him down to 32%. So what I'll try to do is recast and Venom Breath. Okay, there it ran out. Don't let him hit me. Damn, he hit me for all that damage. Let's see if we can root him. Please hold. All right. <clears throat> Let's see, how much does... I'm afraid to do a spell like Frost Strike. Come on. We're just going to melee him down. And he's running. Good. That was a crazy fight. Got him down to 5%. Alright. Oh, guys, that was not pretty. You get two of these Ivy. Oh, loot it. Alright, that's the fight guys. The other one's blue, which should be a lot easier. But good grief, was that challenging. We'll stick around here because I gained a lot of experience off of that kill. <laughs> let's, let's count the resist. Okay, so the first, your target resists affliction. Your target resists affliction, there's two. Your target resists affliction, there's three. Resist affliction, four. Resist affliction, five. So he resisted five spells in a row. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Talk to you later, bye.